the false symbol of the cross. It was simply a pole cut from a tree, from the Greek word staros, from the base of stake or post, as set upright. False images of heavenly things, heaven, angels, God, the throne, etc. This is idolatry, and many people are worshipping these images. The name Jesus, J was the last letter of the English alphabet, and a Catholic monk was experimenting with the letter I, and added the hook to the bottom of the I, and made it J. The entire setup for the churches today resemble the Roman Catholic Church from the pulpit to the door. The new church system today is set up just like a business. The priestly outfits and robes were perverted by the RCC. Sunday worship instead of the Sabbath day worship. Pagan holidays have been largely accepted into Christianity through the RCC. They have embraced Christmas, Easter, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, and even Halloween. All are completely pagan in origin. Pagan holidays such as Christmas and Easter seem to be the favorite for those of you who call yourselves Christians. Christians are the biggest hypocrites in the whole world. You won't even research the history of your own religion. Did you know that Christians are responsible for the biggest mass murders in history? All of the holidays are pagan. But because the Catholic Church participated in these holidays, what do you see? All the other Christian religions doing as they do. Why? Because she is their mother. The Catholic Church is the mother of harlots. The Catholic Church said what? No, we will not keep the Sabbath. No, nope, we're going to worship on Sunday. And then they changed the scriptures so that when you read first day of the week, you think that it's talking about the first day of the week, Sunday, when actually it's not. If you look those words up in, in the Greek, you will see it did not say first day of the week. It said one of the Sabbaths, Shabbat. Okay, so what's going on here? You see the Christian churches today, they claim not to be Catholic, but they follow right after the Catholic Church and everything that she do. The use of certain words, such as Lord and God, which is Baal, use of Amen when praying, Amen is an Egyptian God. These things came through Catholicism, and yet we see these things in most Christian churches today which leaves us to believe that the many flavors of Christianity is nothing more than branches of the RCC. When the apostles went out to spread the truth, they were harmless as doves, just as the Messiah told them to be. But when you look at how Christians went forth throughout the world, were they harmless as doves? No. When you look at the Roman Catholic Church and how they went out to push the what they call the gospel to the four corners of the earth, how did they do it? They went forth with violence, right? With the Bible in one hand and a gun in the other. Just violence, right? Death after death after death. In every country they went into trying to spread this so-called gospel of theirs, what did they do, huh? They went in like wolves because that's what they are. For the spread of the gospel, there are estimates that 14 million native North and South Americans were killed by Europeans and their American-born descendants in democide in the conquest of the Americas. Much of this, especially in the Caribbean and South America, was driven by European Roman Catholicism. Vatican support for this, 1455. Here, Pope Nicholas V supports the killing, forcible conversion and enslaving of unbelievers found in the New Lands. The Massacre of Indians. Thanksgiving is a classic example of the actions of Christians on the native Indians. The truth is, after a colonial militia had returned from murdering the men, women, and children of an Indian village, the governor proclaimed a holiday and feast to give thanks to the Lord for the massacre. The Witch Hunts Many people think one million innocents were killed by the witch hunter Christians. The manipulating of the true scripture 
the removal of God's true name, Yah, and replaced with Lord, and the adding of Jehovah to various scriptures. This was all done in the name of religion. The removing of books out of the Bible. There is estimated to be about 100 books that have been either removed or not included in the Bible. The Catholics even debated on whether or not to remove the book of Revelation out of the Bible. This is all the horror that came out of Christianity through the Roman Catholic Church. Even the Ku Klux Klan considers themselves Christians. This is why they wear the cross and look at all the evil they have done in the name of Christianity. The Roman Catholic Church has influenced every religion on the face of the earth. What religion has committed the worst mass murders in history? and even wiped out entire populations. What group of people have convinced the whole world that everyone throughout history from the beginning of time can be seen through the paintbrush of Michelangelo? I find it amazing that most people are more loyal to their religion and don't have the same loyalty to the truth or to the Most High God. Why is it that the words of these liars and history thieves treated as solid gold? They have done such a mind rape on the human population that every culture seems to be captivated by them. You have Asian people with blonde hair. Who is it that everyone on the earth wanders after to the point of changing their eye color, their hair color, and even bleaching their skin? I mean, you have Japanese people even trying to get the slant out of their eyes. <laughs> 